rather than burning stuff to heat our homes and also burning other stuff to create power and finding ways to get rid of our waste, you combine all three things into this waste to energy co-generation plant where power, district heating and waste disposal is combined into a single process. What if sustainable cities and buildings actually are not about all the things you can't do, but all the things you can do? What, what if a sustainable city or sustainable building actually has more opportunities, is more enjoyable than the non-sustainable one? So it's that mindset that hedonistic sustainability teaches you that by thinking about sustainability, you're also thinking about a city that's more exciting and more fun to live in. Amabage is at, at its summit, uh, almost 100 meters tall. It is really sort of a, a man-made mountain of uh, activity. They use the waste of the five municipalities surrounding uh, Copenhagen as the fuel to create both district heating and electricity. The second you create something new, it's almost like opening a door that others can walk through because you can say, well, in Copenhagen, they're skiing on the roofs of their power plants, their, their waste management is also their energy supply, which is also their heat supply. So those examples that are built and functioning, they don't only solve the little challenge of powering Copenhagen, uh, but they're also becoming a beacon that others can look to and say, if they can do it in Copenhagen, why can't we?